Hi YouTube, it is Lisa and Tony Ann Johnson for Hi. Vibrating Youth. And Tony Ann's going to talk about um, dental care. So I'm going to turn okay. it over to you. <laughs> Alright, so um, people have always told me that I have really white teeth and really I white. do. <laughs> um, since I was 12 years I, old. I need sunglasses. <laughs> I have been rinsing my teeth with um, peroxide. So I've, you know, over the years I've seen people like spend all this money on um, skin whitening and getting rid of the stains and bleaching with like the, the white strips and everything. Mm -hmm. I have never ever needed to use that because I've always just used peroxide as a, as a dental rinse. Mm -hmm. So one thing, however, I have, I used it straight for years and years and years and my teeth are very white but it does increase the sensitivity right. and it's not recommended that you use peroxide with uh, with no water you should you should mix it with water um, with equal parts water so and just rinse, diluted. rinse with a diluted um, peroxide solution but when I was growing up I, I always thought that peroxide was really um, intended for you know skin wounds and stuff if you got a cut or anything but it, it actually is a, a dental rinse. I mean, some, some bottles don't say that, but but some bottles do. I mean, yeah. it, it's recommended like to, to rinse. So I always thought, oh, like, you know, I'm doing something sort of that nobody knows about when I was little. But, you know, it is a dental rinse, but a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people think that they have to go to the dentist and spend a lot of money mm -hmm. on a skin bleach and, you know, 50 cents, a dollar, you know, like to whiten your teeth. Um, and you can also use baking soda, which has, a, you know, it's a mineral salt, so it has like a little bit of, um, of a texture to it. So it's a little grainy, it's a little abrasive, but it doesn't damage your enamel. Mm -hmm. And you can make, um, you can brush your teeth with, with um, baking soda and then rinse with the peroxide. Um, or you can make a, just a paste with the baking soda and it works. <laughs> yeah. And also, what one thing I would like to recommend, now I didn't learn this until I was like in my 30s, not that I didn't know about dental floss. Yet. I knew about dental <laughs> floss, but I didn't know that you really should floss your teeth every single day. Yeah, you so, should. So growing, I should. So Everyone growing should. up, growing up, I didn't floss every day. I would floss once in a while, mm -hmm. and I might go when I was a kid, like a week without flossing. But I was at the um, at the dental hygienist maybe like 15 years ago, and she said, well, if you floss every day, you won't get tartar buildup because it takes about 24 hours for the the um, the plaque to harden mm -hmm. and so if you if you floss every single day you won't get that I haven't had a professional teeth cleaning in a, in a while Wow but I have no tartar bit I mean I always see people like you I, I look at teeth so I see people and I can see like they have this this hard tartar exactly. like built up in their teeth and I don't get that because I floss every single day and mm -hmm. and I really think it's it's healthy for you for a variety of reasons, um, and this is in the book. But there's bacteria in that tartar, and if you don't floss frequently enough, that stuff can seep into your bloodstream. And um, plaque buildup in the teeth is linked to heart disease. Exactly. Um, um, Alzheimer's. I was like, oh, I'm forgetting Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. <laughs> Um, so it's really, it really is a good idea to floss every day, and that will also help reduce, you know, the staining between the teeth, and, um, and also your gums, if you don't floss, your gums recede, so when you go to the dental hygienist, and they're doing that little measuring count of your gums, you want to hear numbers like one, two, and three, if you hear like four, five, and six, that means that you have very deep pockets. And you don't want to be in that area because that means you're more susceptible to decay and other types of dental diseases. So you really want to floss to keep your gums from receding to the point where it becomes dangerous to your health as well. So wow, I didn't yeah. know that. Well, yeah, thank you want to hear you, and you want to hear for twos, threes, ones if you can get them. So definitely flossing. Uh, I can't stress this enough. Anti-aging, you want to keep your teeth, you want to keep your gums healthy as well. So. Yeah, and white teeth really do help exactly. you look younger. You so. just don't want to walk around with, you know, <laughs> stained teeth if you can, if you can help it. So this is Tony Ann and Lisa for 40 Plus Buff. Thanks for tuning in and tune in some more for more segments. Bye. Thanks. Bye.